smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a video for you guys. It's basically a part two of yesterday's video because I really respect the guy. I respect um, Fadi so much, honestly, because I'm not even like. It's just crazy to me how somebody can work on a car, and make it look that crazy, and he gets he got a little bit of hate on yesterday's video, which I don't understand why. I should honestly give him the respect because he worked on his car literally outside in random streets in his garage, and you know he made something insane without having everything you need to make it insane. It just it, it supports the thing where. People always say, oh, I don't want to start a YouTube channel because I don't have a camera. Oh, I don't I don't want to, um, you know, it's not time for me to get a job because I go to like, you know, I, I have I have a trip coming up soon. You know, if I get a job, then, you know, I can't I can't go on my trip or I might have to quit my job. It's like, no, guys, you, you do what you need to do and things will just fall in order. Trust me, guys. That's how, that's how life goes. I, I pretty much started YouTube with just, you know, a simple GoPro. I mean, I bought the GoPro for other, you know, things. Actually, I bought it for a longboard, um, which I ended up breaking my leg. Long story short, that really doesn't matter. But I mean, you guys are supposed to work with what you have. And he is the exact definition of a hard worker and you worked with what he had. And he got to where he is today through just, you know, making things happen. When he got stuff, I mean, he pretty much did everything but his turbos, you know, pretty much out front. That is just crazy. I'm gonna show you guys um, his transformation because I really, really, really respect this. He has his own video of when um, you know he first got the car and he's transforming the car. I'll throw that video in right now. And from you guys to see from that video, um, the cars came a long way, guys. And that was before he even added the wide body or anything like that. Now, he did crazy things to the interior before Beamer Fest. So, I mean, if you guys look at the pictures, I'll probably put them like somewhere over here. Um, it's crazy how he swapped. That that was my dream interior. I called a lot of shops. I don't know if you saw from my guys' Instagram a long time ago. Um, I, I really wanted an interior like that, but it cost like upwards of like twenty five thousand for them to stitch something like that. He made it happy and just ordered the the you know the pretty much the fabric. He ended up taking apart the door panels and he just did it himself. He did it. For, he even got even custom seats to match the door panels. This the build is insane. And I'm gonna throw in this last video right here for you guys. This video basically shows how he worked on his wide body also outside. He didn't need a special shop. He didn't really need special tools. He did use a couple of tools, but again right outside of where he lived or worked or whatever out in the street.
pretty much did this wide body, which is absolutely insane. People's like, oh, it's too much work. I don't have the right workspace. You can do it anywhere. If this guy can do it anywhere, you can do it anywhere. So it's just absolutely crazy to me. I'm actually very inspired by his build. And you know, I'm this much hi more hyped to get a 335 of my own. Cause I wanna do a crazy build like that. And you know, I, I will. This summer guys, I will be picking up a 335i. I was leaning more of a 435i, but a lot of you guys love the 335i. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to it. Probably what's gonna happen guys with, with the channel um, right before I end it. And you know, shout out to 5D one more time. Um, is that I'm probably gonna end up selling the Z to pay off my BMW. Got a little bit of a load left on it, very small, but I'm gonna pay it off, keep the rest of the money in my pocket, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put up my car for sale. I know it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna put it up for a price that I feel like is fair, um, not overpricing it whatsoever. You know, it's still low mileage, it's still a clean title. When I get my pink slip, I'll, I'll put it up um, and see if you guys are interested in the car. You know, this car is what started the channel, but at the same time, guys. I'm not made out of money. Now, I can go get a job and you guys will not get as much content out of me. And I thing is that I really love about YouTube is that I get to work at my own time and I get to make videos for you guys and I pretty much get to do what I love. So, the thing is, I would rather give up this car right now to someone that's a subscriber and be able to see it in the future than to just keep it and not have content for you guys. Because if I sell it to you guys, I'll be able to get this 335i build, get even crazier things done to that car, you know, I have a lot of dreams. I want those dreams to come true. I'm not gonna hold this car, you know. I love the car, again guys, but I don't wanna start alone on a 335. I wanna buy it cash. I wanna start my next build um, with every single penny that I get. Um, I don't I don't wanna have payments. I don't wanna have any stuff like that. And of course, I don't even want full coverage because I, I wanna go down a liability um, with this next build because that also helps out with insurance. Anyways, guys, if I end up selling it, I'll let you guys know. If you guys are, you know, pretty much interested in the car, hit me up on my Instagram and, uh, you know, you just, just offer me a price. Only issue with the car whatsoever is now the solenoids. There's transmission solenoids, um, very common on the ZF models. Not very common, but it's common for the 320s to 330i's. You know, what are you gonna do? Just when you put the car in drive, it jerks forward for first and second gear. That's the only issue. If you put it in sports mode, you don't even see the issue. So it is something that, you know, needs to be addressed. But other than that, put it in sports mode, car is fine. Um, everything else is perfectly fine. I fixed the damage, pulled out the frame. We put on the new bumper. I'm gonna have to get it wrapped. Um, but yeah, guys, future things to come on that car. But if you guys are excited, smash a like button. And if you guys are, you know, loving the build, he has even crazier things planned for it. So make sure you guys follow Fadi's Instagram down below. I'm gonna be meeting up with him one more time in Sonoma, probably a few more times during the summer. We're gonna do, you know, some crazy drifting, racing, all kinds of stuff like that in his car. Stay tuned, guys. Guys, Ramadan's also ending super close. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. Um, so Ramadan Mubarak for those of you guys who are still fasting. And you know, Remember to stay humble, guys. Peace out.